It's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. You know how I'm celebrating Valentine's Day, boys and girls? I'm going to get a wisdom tooth pulled out. So, of course, this is pre-taped because if it wasn't, I'd be spitting out blood at this point. And I just want to bring your attention to my shirt that my girl Lorena gave me for Valentine's Day. And it's cool. What would Lee Van Cleef do? Shoot your fucking head off. That's what he would do. But anyway, welcome back to another edition of 42nd Street Pete's Grindhouse. And uh, I don't know, I'm going to do a little departure today. Um, we haven't told a Big Al story in a while. And somebody asked me, was Big Al a big fat slob? No, actually, Big Al wasn't a big fat slob. Big Al was just big. He was about six foot three, an inch taller than me. And he was one of those guys that started lifting weights early on, so he was pretty big. Plus, he had a full beard at times and made him look bigger. But anyway, um, I'm going to call this, uh, this segment Dining Out with Big Al and Friends because everything's an adventure with Big Al and some of the people I know. Um, we were at, I think it was the English Town Flea Market. My wife at the time, Big Al and his girlfriend, and my friend Matt, his wife. So we were at the English Town Flea Market, and we decided to stop for a bite on the way home. Now, I'm trying to remember the chain that had the, the, the all-you-can-eat uh, shrimp, peel-and-eat shrimp in the salad bar with your dinner or something, or that could be separate. I think it was steak and brew. Now, I don't recall the exact name of the town that we were in, but we saw a steak and brew, and we said, hey, let's grab some food. So we walked in, and it was like we sprayed the place with shit mist. This was some kind of uppity area, whatever, and not that we were filthy, dirty, or whatever, we were just wearing jeans and t-shirts, you know, street clothes. So, we were escorted to a table way in the back, but close to the shrimp and salad bar. And the waitress just said, help yourself to the shrimp and salad and somebody will be with you shortly. So, we proceeded to chow down on the shrimp and salad. After about 20 minutes, it became apparent that we weren't going to get waited on. And, of course, I said this. I said, you know something? They don't want us here. They're just blowing us off. So, of course, Al was going to try. I said, no, you know something? I said, fuck them. Uh, everybody full? Everybody get enough shrimp and salad? Yeah, okay. Why don't you ladies just go to the ladies' room and then slowly go out the front door? And then I told Matt, why don't you go to the men's room and you sneak out the front door and we'll follow you. So they left. Again, nobody came to our table. So I just dropped the $10 bill on the table, and me and Big Al walked out, and we didn't. Nobody followed us. Nobody said nothing. Nobody did shit. We were basically treated like shit because of the way we dressed. So that was one. Another one, I don't know if anybody is from New Jersey who tunes in and remembers. I don't know if it's still there. It might be still there. Lee's Hawaiian Islander in Lyndhurst on River Road which served Asian cuisine, you know, Hawaiian cuisine, whatever. So again, it was me and my wife, uh, again, Matt and his wife, and Big Al and his current girlfriend. So we were sitting there, and Al was putting away those fucking drinks with the umbrellas. So we were pretty much eating, eating our faces off, and... Al got shit-faced, and he leaned back in his chair, and all of a sudden, the chair went backwards, and he fell, crashed on the floor. Now, any fucking normal human being would, would have got up embarrassed, oh, fuck, I, I had an accident, this and that. Not him. He starts going, oh, what the fuck, my chest, I, I, I can't breathe, this and that, and the other thing. Now, at that point, I didn't know whether it was fucking bullshit or not. I figured it was bullshit. Matt was concerned. My ex, my wife at the time was concerned. Everybody's concerned. They call an ambulance. I'm like, oh, this is just fucking great. So they come in. They get him outside. I figure he's going to hop off the stretcher and disappear. Well, no, he takes the ambulance ride to the hospital. Well, there was really nothing wrong except till he got to the hospital and he decided he was going to leave, but oh no, they want to check him out. So they give him an EKG, which was wonky. So they kept him overnight for observation, being that he didn't have any insurance. It was just probably going to cost him a fucking fortune, which he probably wouldn't pay. But 
I was kind of pissed off because I was eating down there regularly. Now I was loath to go back down there and eat because of the little fucking scene he pulled. So, yeah. But like I said, you know, the, the coup de gras was that he, they wouldn't let him out of the hospital because his EKG was fucking wonky. So another one was, I don't know if it's another Jersey thing. Anybody remember Don Pepe's? There were two of them. One on Route 21 in Newark and one up, upper, I think it was up off Route 46. Might have been around Parsippany. Well, the thing with Don Pepe's is they serve huge portions. And they had this thing called paella, which was basically yellow rice with shrimp, scallops, clams, mussels, sausage, and pieces of chicken. And they give you, this is one serving. This was the fucking serving. It was about this big, so you had to take it home. And if you got chops, you know, you got chops like fucking this. So this was a night out without, without our female halves, our wives, rather. So it was me, Matt, his crazy cousin, Victor, who was a weed dealer, and Big Al. So we're driving, oh, and Julio, I forgot Julio. Julio was Victor's sort of bodyguard. So we're driving there in Victor's Cadillac, and we all had been really imbibing a lot lately. So we made this little decision that, okay, we're not going to drink tonight. So we go in. As soon as we sit down, Victor orders a rum and coke, and then the trickle-down thing. Matt orders a beer. Uh, Big Al orders a beer. I order a tequila and tomato juice. So, you know, it was getting sloshed before dinner, but... We did drink to excess back there. I, I think I said this in a previous video, that I was basically at one point putting away a fifth of tequila a night, which was crazy, and which might explain why I had to lose 18 inches of colon down the road, but that's the way we were. Um, nothing really happened that night. We just ate our faces off, and I had a huge load of paella to bring home to uh, my wife to share with her, so that was all good, but... Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of adventures with a lot of crazy people. Maybe I should do a segment on just crazy people and wheeling and dealing, because that's where I met a lot of them, and just some of the, you know, the deals that blew up in my face and deals that went over and good stuff like that, because uh, once I stopped being a mechanic, that's all I did for years, is, you know, wheel and deal, flea markets, had the, you know, the past midnight video store in Rockaway, and was basically hustling VHS tapes until DVDs came out, so uh, maybe some stuff on that down the road, but... All right, going to get my tooth pulled. That's our show for, for today. Happy Valentine's Day, and don't forget to pick up the 42P sampler. It's, you know, these are hard on the outside and have a creamy filling on the inside. So never let it be said I wasn't a romantic. So until next time, stay safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.